coming out, yeah? Okay, let's wipe it off so everybody can see. Right here. It's all wet right there. Coming out. Okay, so you'll have to shut the water off. Turn those so that that knob goes in. This knob goes in? Yeah. Yeah. Turn it all the way till it's tight. Not too tight. I don't want to break yeah, it. Yeah, all the way till it's, it's tight. It's tight. Okay. And this one the same? Yeah. Nope. I can't even turn that one, Dave. They're opposites? No, one's one way and one's the other, so of course. And as All long right. as those are both off, then yeah. come up here and, and shut the, uh, open up the faucets. Okay. See how no water comes out? Nope. Okay. Then what you do is you go back down there. Mm -hmm. You take a set of pliers and you disconnect that nut. Yeah. The chrome nut on the top on both of them. This right here. Yeah. Okay. I need my my new my new tools. I just got. <laughs> okay. Look, Tina Look. got her own little made set of tools. Cause hey, she's comes gonna, with all of them. What she's gonna do is change the faucet. She's got a new Delta faucet here, and. Uh, got the big hoop on it and uh, she she pretty much got everything she needs here she's got the nuts uh, she's got the Teflon tape new supply lines because that's what was leaking and uh, a new hose and screwdrivers and she's off to work changing the faucet <laughs> Who said being a plumber was easy? <laughs> All right, she's got one off. Next. Got a bucket underneath there catching it, you see? <laughs> catching some of it. <laughs> there you go. Now, before I do it. Well, we're zoomed in. Dave looks really enormous in there. So I had to have Mr. Udizzy help me because I couldn't get underneath. I'm a little too big for that. So now he's taking off the top. Oh, I see. This is what you call team effort. Go team Dizzy! <laughs> Usually you use a basin wrench for this. Oh. Well, the maid went to the store and looked at the box, and the box said all I needed was an adjustable wrench and a screwdriver. The, I don't know what the screwdriver is needed for, but... Oh, wow. I feel old. How do they expect someone my size under there? They don't. <laughs> I, we missed it. The hose peed on Dave. Whatever. Whatever. All right, that's that part. All right. We'll get back to you guys. So, we got Dave under there. I don't know how much we're going to see because I had to take the light out for a minute. Well... We'll ask him. What are you doing, Dave, under there? I'm finishing up here. I'm trying to finish taking the faucet off. It's just about there. It's the back part. See, Tina is not too bright sometimes. Well, I thought sometimes? It, I thought it was... That well, should do it there. Oh, yep. Let me go grab it. 
Oh, we got a whole bunch of schmeg under there. Yeah, my maid's not that good. So this is, this pot's no good either. Here, Dave, you. <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna clean that up and replace this thing. Ooh, Tina. Do you know how long this has been up here, my mother told me? Look it. This has been up here since the, um, since Gia was up here, which was, I wanna say, Guatemala. 15 years ago. Hmm, so don't ever let your sink get like that. All right, now that Tina's cleaned that up, um, usually they say to putty this, but these new ones come with a plastic she sheathing on the bottom where you don't have to. But, uh, so that's what we're going with this. All right, what we got here is we got the new fan dangler on there. Next is the uh, faucet. So let's get to it. All right. Well, What's the next the, step? When you do this, make sure that if this ever falls off, the smooth side goes up, so it slips inside there, and the grooves are, are what. So you don't. And that's supposedly why you don't need uh, putty under there. Usually, you you put a bead of plumber's putty around it, but nowadays they say don't do that. Hmm. Why? Big big plastic wins, I guess. Do we and then have it it's on just these two nuts that hold it up on, up on there. Do so we have it Tina, facing the right way? Yes, and that's another thing. Always make sure that when you put it on, before you put the nuts on, check to see which way it turns. These turn forward, and that's what you want. So that's how you know this is forward. So onward and upward. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Dave. I forgot a mold. And rickety. I don't know how much we can see what he's doing, but I think you all get the gist of it. So we will get back to you. All right, what's next? Well, what's next is these supply lines. Usually you use Teflon tape, but these ones now, they come with rubber inside. Oh. So no need to do that anymore, at least for the top. Now I noticed on the bottom, they don't... Well, maybe they do. I think there is a piece of rubber in there. Yep. Yeah, so maybe you don't need one there either. So now they're eliminating, you know, the putty. They're eliminating the Teflon tape. We're learning something, I guess. Mm -hmm. So next is connecting this to the bottom of the faucet. And uh, then connecting it to the sink. I mean, to the supply. That's that. Us. You don't want to tighten these too tight to uh, squish that rubber in there. Oh. Oh. You all right? Yeah. But you make sure it's definitely tight on there. They tell you to use an adjustable. I use pliers because I'm a tough guy. And then he's going to get up and there. I don't know if you can see up and there. <laughs> on this side so we can freely go up and down and then we need really one more and this is for the hot water oh and then he's gonna put that one way up in there Thank you everybody for watching the maid fixing plumbing <laughs> we will we will be right back with you and hope and pray there are no leaks 
All right. <clears throat> I think he's turning them on, right? Yeah, I think so. So if you see it fucking dripping down yeah. all over the Let's place. Yeah, let's see. You look. Oh, you Grab look. the light. You look. Can you see it leaking? Whoa, whoa. Oh, You're hearing me. I don't see anything leaking. So, let's go there. So there you have it. Hot and cold. Nice for in your faucet. Yeah. Now you get a can of water on it for this one. First whoa. Time. Now you can take a bath in the sink. I'll take a bow. My curtsy. Thanks for watching. All right. Comment, like, Thanks. subscribe. Tune in next week when Tina will, will fix her something else she broke. <laughs> Bye. Delta Premium Foundations Collection presents the 21988LF series presented by you, Dizzy. This is just a quick cooking video. Tina's gonna make a meatloaf wrapped in bacon. So I got all my, all my stuff. The bacon, bacon. I'm gonna try to use this meatloaf mix only because I don't feel like uh, trying to figure out what seasons to put in it because I'm lazy. So let's get to it. Also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, make barbecue sauce. I'm gonna mix brown sugar. French's yellow mustard and Heinz ketchup. We don't match. Oh well. And then I'm going to rub that on the meatloaf. Then I'm going to put the bacon. And then I'm going to put more barbecue sauce. First time doing this. Not so sure how it's going to come out. I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, so here is the finished product. This is barbecue meatloaf wrapped in bacon, and I weaved it. I weaved the bacon, and then we're going to cover it, and we're going to cook it for an hour or so. And we'll let you see what, how it looks after. Oh, my goodness. Look at that yumminess. Mm -mm -mm. We need smell -o vision Look at that puppy. Am I zoomed in? No. Looks yummy. Well, how is it, Mr. You Dizzy? Mm, how much for something? Ooh. It's delicious. Well, bacon wrap meatloaf. I'm spoiled. <clears throat> so I did good for my first time? Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Share the video. Peace.